I am Anders from Hegel Music System. So I'm the, uh, the manager for sales and marketing for Hegel in, uh, in Norway. Uh, okay, although Hegel is uh, already quite known in Poland, uh, maybe you can talk a little bit about the company. Yeah, of course. I mean, Hegel was founded quite a few years ago. It's 1988 when the first, you know, garage handmade amplifiers came out. And we've come quite a bit since then. Uh, but it's all always been a technology-oriented company. It's not a marketing company, it's a technology-oriented company where curiosity and has, has led us towards new discoveries and making our own technologies, having our own, our own patented amplifier technologies, things like this. Yeah, and uh, what are your main products currently? I know about amplifiers, mm -hmm. but you also have recently introduced a uh, CD player, which is maybe yes. not a very common thing no, among manufacturers. Absolutely. Well, there are a couple of reasons why manufacturers don't easily make CD players anymore. And one is that it's difficult to get re reliable components and parts because the sale of CD players has gone down over the years. But it's been an idea of ours, and especially from our founder, Bent Holter, that he wanted to make a CD player just to see how good could he make it if it took it all out. And we had secured uh, quite a bit of quality lasers and quality drives a little while ago, so we could do it without reliability issues. So the Mohican is something we're really proud of, and it's the best source we have, period. Yeah. And uh, what about your amplifiers? I heard mm -hmm. that you are having something completely new on display here in Warsaw. Yep. yep. We have a brand new integrated amplifier on show uh, on the second floor of the show. It's called the H190. Um, it replaces the H160 that won the ISA award three years ago. And it is it has got a lot of technologies from the biggest integrated because we developed a new version of our patented sound engine technology when we de designed the H360 three, two years ago. Um, so that has improved the output stage and the analog quality. Second, we've made a much better DA converter than the old model. Uh, we have given it a new display that makes it look a little bit sharper. And there's also a new streaming board on board that will do Apple AirPlay and normal streaming a little bit better. But it will also allow us to apply services like Spotify Connect that will come as a free upgrade within a, a few months. Okay, I see that you are really into the new, I mean, with yeah. streaming technologies, mm -hmm. uh, wireless playing. Mm -hmm. uh, and are you able to uh, keep the quality of every source at a good level because, well, if you yeah. compare, for example, a mobile phone, mm -hmm. usually it has a lower quality than other sources. And how do mm -hmm. you deal with that? Well, the thing is that the mobile phone in itself is a very good storage device. And there is no reason why it shouldn't be a good playing device. Um, the problem has has only been to get it through the network and solve the issues associated with network playing. And that's something we've been working on for quite some time. Not the network itself, but it has some similarities to that of USB. And we were one of the first, if not the first, high performance audio manufacturer who launched an amplifier with a built-in USB port in 2009. And the, the, the footwork, the ground work, of making that silent was done in the H100 that came in 2009. Many of the same principles apply. And there's no reason why a phone shouldn't be, you know, as good as a PC or a MacBook or, or something like that. Yeah. A phone is actually really good and people want to use that. Yeah, exactly. And uh, what are your plans for the, let's say, nearest future? What, mm -hmm. what are you working on currently? Well, the nearest future, everything is secret with Hegel. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the company who say, oh yes, in two years we'll have this, in three years we'll have this. But we are working on technologies. There are a couple of things, both on the analog amplifier side, that we need to work on and make better. 
uh, exactly what products will come out of that eventually, we don't know yet. And the other thing is, um, is streaming and connectivity. Uh, we're doing both a lot of testing with the younger people coming to our factory in Oslo and just see how they operate equipment and what kind of demands they have. We do many events with technology companies that we invite over and we have discussions uh, about future technologies and things like that. Um, but we try to make our products more and more independent meaning we do not want to force people into our universe with our user interfaces and applications and things like that. Just want them to be generic and sound really good, regardless of digital platform you want to use. Yeah, uh, that's actually great because uh, other companies tend to have a very closed system that yeah. works only with their applications yeah. and is not very flexible in that case. So it sounds really interesting. And uh, now switching a little bit to mm -hmm. a different topic, uh, what do you think about, the, let's say, rebirth of the vinyl disc? Do you think uh, it has future? Are you maybe thinking about exploiting it a bit? Oh, vinyl is great. Uh, we don't want to make a vinyl player because we, just as we don't want to make it a loudspeaker, it's a very different set of dynamics. Yeah. And it's been so popular. And I think much of the industry is just, if they see something succeeding, everybody runs in the same direction. Oh, we want to make a turntable. Oh. They just put something together and it doesn't sound really good. And it, everything yeah. looks like a Rega P3 or a project debut, and they think it's a success. I, we don't share that opinion at all. There are turntable specialists, let them make turntables. There are loudspeaker specialists, let them make uh, loudspeakers. Um, but I think it's great with vinyl because it brings back a level of passion to audio and music listening that was somehow lost with the CD. I'm not a big fan of CD. I like computer audio and I like vinyl. Yeah. Uh, it's just that we're not going to make the turntables. <laughs> yeah, maybe not turntables, but uh, for example, the phono, uh, stages. phono stages. Yeah, yeah, could be. I mean, forever is a long time, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who can say yes or no? Yeah, of course. Okay, so thanks a lot for your visit here and no. uh, for the interview and I hope you will enjoy the rest of the show too. I hope so too. And okay. thank you very, very much for having me. And I hope we'll see us next year. Me too. Okay. This is thank turning into the best show in Europe, period. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you have to. I just have to survive. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs>